I've used a secret blog post template that has made me thousands and it continues to make me hundreds or thousands each month. Here is my complete template. I use it across multiple websites and different niches, and I think it'll work for you. So here it is, my blogging template. I start with a short conversational intro. I include what I call a snippet paragraph. I include an image, relevant image, high quality, usually custom made image. Then I include a series of H2 and H3 headers about the topic. That would be like the body of my blog post. I include a video somewhere in there where it makes sense. And then I end with a final thoughts section, usually short and sweet with a bulleted list of related posts. Sometimes I include a sources section at the very end with where I link to some high authority relevant websites like .gov, .edu, maybe some research um, papers on the topic if it makes sense. So that's my complete blogging template. It's boring, it's simple, but it works. And it makes me uh, money every single month. I continue to use this same template every day on all my websites. Here's how I write my intros. My intros usually consist of one, maybe two short sentences that connect to the reader, usually mention the keyword, the topic, so that the reader knows they're in the right place. And then I go quickly into what I'm calling the Google Featured Snippet section. And I end intro with something like, in this blog post, you'll learn everything you need to know about, insert the topic. The Google Featured Snippet section starts with a simple rephrasing of the title and keyword. There's another article that I've written, another video that I've made about the sentence that has made me thousands check out that article, check out that video for more details, but I'll go quickly over it. Here's an example from brasshero.com, not my website. I don't usually share my websites publicly because I don't want the competition, but here's an example. The keyword is something like, do saxophones use treble or bass clef? There's a rephrasing of the keyword phrase here. Here's whether saxophones use treble or bass clef. So that's the rephrasing of the keyword sentence. And then here's this Google featured snippet bolded paragraph, usually under 300 characters. It gives the complete answer right up front, right in the introduction. <clears throat> the introduction is usually very short, sweet, again, casual, one or two sentences, rephrasing of the keyword topic uh, title, and then this Google featured snippet paragraph that I bold. It's under 300 characters and it gives as complete and detailed of an answer to the main question of the article right up front. And then I end the introduction with that, hey, keep reading to learn more, or in this guide, you'll learn everything you need to know. That's really the introduction. All of my introductions follow very similarly that same template. How I write the body of my blog post, like I said, there are a series of H2 and H3 headers, depending on the topic and what I want to cover in there. Here's where I get my subheadings. I get them from people also ask on Google, Google Autocomplete, or from keyword tools like Ahrefs, Answer Socrates, Deep Market, SEMrush. You can use any of those or and others. I also use my common sense and also patterns that I've discovered from writing hundreds of blog posts and studying the analytics of how they perform over the last decade. So use your common sense, use logic, use keyword tools, use Google Complete. Here's an example. So if I was going to go after a keyword like why do ninjas run with arms behind, which by the way is an actual search that people um, have asked about. Here it is right here. Why do ninjas run with arms behind? And you can see even on Google, you can get why do anime characters run with their arms behind? So you could say anime characters or anime ninjas run with their arms back. That could be one of your subheadings. Ninja running technique could be another subheading and talk about that. And you could talk about, I don't know if I can say this name right, but Naratu, forgive me if I say that wrong. Does running with your arms behind make you faster that could be it. so you can get it from google autocomplete up there you can go down here to people also ask and you can say how do ninjas actually run and you can open up these and get even more questions sometimes all these questions can become subheadings in your article if you want them to you can get sometimes from reddit some questions if you have a keyword tool you can sometimes get some other questions or ideas for subheadings and that's you can also, like I said, use your common sense. I would probably add sections to this body of this blog post with sections like, do all ninjas run with their arms behind? 
What are situations where they would and wouldn't? Types of ninja running. There's probably different types. Do ninja grandmasters, and I don't even know if that's the correct term. I made it up as I was writing this article and making this video. Uh, but why do ninja grandmasters run with their arms behind, or why don't they, if that's the case? That could be an interesting and related topic to add to this body of this blog post. Typically, after the first subheadings, after the first H2, right after my intro, I'll add a relevant image. It's usually a custom image. I'll either make it with AI or I'll take it from Canva or take my own pictures, a highly relevant and unique and original image. I'll add that usually after the first subheading. And then somewhere later in the body of the blog post, wherever it makes sense, it could be at the end of the body. It could be in the middle of the body after one of the subheadings, but where it's most relevant makes most sense. I'll add a YouTube, TikTok, or some other kind of video. Sometimes I create the video myself on my YouTube channel. And most of the time, however, I use a video that is ranking high for the same search term or topic on YouTube. So I just type the keyword or question that I'm trying to answer in my blog post or into the YouTube search bar, see what videos come up, use the most relevant one, link it to my blog post. That helps with it. how I write my final thoughts section. Again, very simple. I keep all of my conclusions short and sweet. I try to not repeat anything I've said already in the blog post. I try to keep them encouraging, not repetitive. And I then hope that my uh, readers will click through some of my other articles because I end with a list of uh, bulleted links just like this. I might say related post or read this next and just link out to some other blog posts on similar. That's my complete blog post template. It's exactly what I use every single week and day when I write my blog posts on my websites and it works very well for me. I hope it works just as well for you. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Check out the video that's coming up right now. Thanks for watching.